PlayStation has shown a revamped trailer of their PSVR 2 promoting newer games that are coming around. And of course, the only game that I'm super, super excited for is just that Resident Evil 4 remake. Man, the graphics look really good on standalone. I can't wait for that. But either way, they showcase a few games. It's a quick like teaser slash trailer. Longer than a teaser, but not necessarily a full length trailer. Uh, shout out to uh, attention spans these days. But it's just enough where it gives us coverage on how it looks. It does give us a lot of things of what's going down and what you need. You need to be fully tethered. You need the PS5. But man, PSVR 2 actually looks really, really insane. I was like, dang, that that has to be my next objective right now is to get into PSVR uh, 2. The reason being is that I know it's similar to what PC VR does. You would connect and everything like that. You have to be tethered. But the only thing is that I think that it, since it's so native that you don't need anything extracurricular, I feel that that's what really I favor most. I always like things that are very much native to itself. PC VR, there's going to be way more flexibility of course with pc vr like you can get mods you can connect the quest the valve index it, just any vr headset known to humanity you can connect to a pc but with psvr 2 i just think them being in-house and native together i feel that once they get more in the ball of like like trying to stream on like how you stream your console on, on twitch you know psvr uh, ps5 straight to twitch i wonder how that actually works with streaming psvr 2 i wonder if you could actually natively read chat and do all that fun stuff that would be incredibly cool the way psvr 2 looks it looks great and now it is a lot of money because you got to buy the ps5 and then you got to buy the psvr 2 but it does look insane what they are showing us i'm really actually super shocked at the graphics and how good it looks i know that thing looks good because it's such an extension to what you're playing already because you're completely tethered and what you're playing is what you're playing with the ps5 and I can only imagine to see like PS5 type graphics in the headset. Now, I know it doesn't get all the way to that extent, but to even have a range of that type of graphics would be insane, man. I, I had to give them props for that. That's one thing I've yet to really dive into, which is insane. Like that, that should be my next goal is to try to uh, get my hands on one of these. Um, y'all got to be letting me know though. Are y'all, do y'all have a PSVR 2 headset or do y'all, are y'all rocking out with that? Do, how have you been in terms of that? Do your friends have it? Have you been watching reviews and doing thorough research? I haven't done too much research on it. I just kind of saw the revamped trailer they released today and I was like, yeah, this is it, man. I like, did this right here can take tag to Cause Sony, I use Sony for so much stuff in my tech, you know, my my older like TVs and my camera, mirrorless cameras and, and just everything. Just, there's just so much where Sony's around. And I would have to say like, man, yeah, so Sony always just knows how to do it the right way with tech when it comes down to tech. Now, again, you are tethered. So that is a huge limitation or is it a huge limitation? It just depends on what you're component is because standalone right now standalone is looking great though with assassin's creed i know that they have amazing reviews and they say on quest 3 it looks amazing i myself own a quest 3 so it's pretty dope that you know uh just everything it's dope to see the advancement of vr because we have been covering vr for some time now so it's just cool to really see that happening um i do need to get my hands on this psvr too i, I had to say the resident evil games gonna look cool i know they have like what ghostbusters pavlov uh some other games coming around but i i have to see how that resident evil game looks resident evil 4 remake they showed the trailer for that also uh not too long ago and i i know we broke that trailer down too on this channel so just seeing that type of gameplay takes this type of a curriculum to the to the next level right vr always known as gimmicky i think psvr2 can really take a massive advancement due to it being in correlation together right just like it's an, an extension of what the ps5 actually is and i feel that's what's gonna happen like help it like navigate to a higher level just because it's just that technology is going to be such a smooth transition Versus like Quest 3, having to run through virtual desktop or AirLink and then try to get to a PC. Then from the PC, like all that stuff starts lagging. On top of that, uh, Quest has a lot of trouble in terms of like AirLinking or like uh, recording in totality when it comes down to content. They're still trying to figure out how to record like in full landscape with good quality. And even at that, there's a lot of like, even when I'm recording right now on my PC, it always has massive issues with like the mic and everything like that. So it would be cool to kind of see a PSVR 2 is really 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 smooth with that objective of just projecting that and maybe just recording it from there 
and showing that VR gameplay in a smooth notion and being able to utilize that depending on how they share the content. I don't know how like PS5 really works that much. I have an Xbox, so the, it'll be cool to see like how all that goes because if, if you're able to stream natively on a PS5, so then you plug the PSVR to and you're still streaming on Twitch, the thing is, how would you read the chat? It would be cool if they can integrate some stuff like that. I don't know if you would have to still just look at your phone or something or just not even look at chat at all. But I, I, I am really intrigued with those two things on a PSVR 2. How can you stream it and make it look incredible and just create content in totality, like recording. The recording process of a PSVR 2, uh, rather it's just in console, like through the PS5. I don't know how long our clips are there to be. I know Xbox, the max, when you clip something, I believe it's two minutes. So I'm not too sure like how long a PlayStation 5 does. Is it two minutes also, PS clips or something? And how do you share them automatically at YouTube? Once that process really comes around, I think that's when I would really jump into a PSVR 2. Because I know the gameplay is there. And I know the experience is there. And I'm sure the surround sound is there, especially if you're throwing on even like some Sony headphones, man. No hashtag ad over here. When you're throwing on all this extra stuff that just makes it sound cool, I, I know that experience is next level. And, and are also do haptics. Do the haptics work with them? That's actually another good question to ask ourselves. See, I got to do all this research, fam. I don't even know if the haptics vest works but if all of that kind of works and get some headphones going on get some immersion going on in there it sounds like it might be a damn good time it looks great it looks solid it looks like a great enjoyable experience that is looking to take that tech it looks far more futuristic than what even i would say what a quest 3 is doing right now i don't know why it does i guess it won because it's far more trusted in that space tech and also it just it's a, an extension of what a triple a game like it could offer the triple a games but then again triple a games like uh i mean they're kind of just adopting all the vr games already and like pavlov shack and all that which is weird i would think that i would if i was psvr2 i would take a step back and just really make the triple a games an extension of themselves in vr i'm just not too sure how that works with devs and all that I think they, they, they have the further option to really bring AAA games versus us waiting as like a standalone or PC VR, any of that stuff, or waiting on mods for PC VR. A PSVR 2 looks like they have the idea of if you want to have a AAA game actually in virtual reality, like try it out here. And I feel that that Resident Evil 4 remake is going to be one of those that, because I, I do read people's reviews on it and they say that the library is still not large enough for them to really buy in fully, like figuratively i mean not literally because some people actually bought it but i mean like as far as like putting more time into it investing the playing time into it trusting them as a source to really bring and deliver in virtual reality versus it just being a ps5 but if they can become a massive extension of that man i'm telling y'all right now it's gonna be lit it's gonna be lit because this this thing looks dope and i was like yo this is fresh I was kind of skeptical because it's not a standalone. I'm huge for standalone because I want to be wireless all day, of course. But if it's not delivering at the component to an extent, now Quest 3 was not a letdown, but it's uh, it's been good. It's solid, right? I, I enjoy my Quest 3. Of course, Quest 2, if you can find a Quest 2 on complete sale, go get that first. Don't even worry about the Quest 3 yet, in my opinion, right? Mixed reality is still very, very, very much in its early stages. Um, but if you can find a quest two at a huge like price, like cut or like a huge sale or on Amazon or eBay, dude, get grab it. If there's like a bundle of stuff. Get it, man. A quest, a quest two is definitely dope uh, for that money. I know I saw some at Walmart today for like fairly cheap and I was like, yeah, definitely I'll get the quest two for sure. But PSVR two looks cool. I was skeptical. It looks dope. And comment what y'all think. Uh, do y'all have one or are y'all looking to get one have y'all seen this trailer and have you seen the fact that resident evil 4 the remake not even the og version is gonna be in psvr 2 that's crazy man y'all let me know what's up man i appreciate y'all peace